Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOut TV bringing you gameplay and commentary for Resident Evil Revelations 2 on the PlayStation 4. Resident Evil. Alright, so let's get into the action. Uh, we're at the uh, towards the end of episode 1, and uh, we're playing in this half of episode 1 as Barry, who is, uh, y you know, he was a guy from the... Um, original Resident Evil. And uh, so each episode of Revelations 2 is split up into two parts. Uh, the first part is Claire and Moira, and uh, Barry is Moira's father. So uh, Barry's come to uh, find and save Moira, and he, while he, when he comes to the island, he finds a very small girl named Natalia. Now, Natalia has been infected with a virus just like Moira and Claire have. Uh, and uh, without, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything too much, but, uh, you know, they've been infected and if they get too fearful, they, uh, uh, you know, become a, one of the afflicted. Now, we found a new type. We're introduced right now to a new type of afflicted. And uh, this thing's pretty nasty, uh, kind of has limbs and stuff and triple, double, triple jointed, whatever. And uh, so we're going to go around this camp. He all of a sudden disappeared. We, you know, we want to investigate. Uh, so, of course, right off the bat, you're going to notice there's plenty of ambiance. Uh, you know, they did a really good job with how, you know, each area feels. Um, you know, so the one... You know, think about it this way, like, you know, there's the one bit of, like, one point of light where everything comes from. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. Um, and how, you know, the light reflects through the uh, the fog of, of the evening, of night, basically. And uh, so we're kind of looking for this guy. A couple other things about uh, Revelations 2, uh, you know, uh, like I said, the ambiance is fantastic. The... Um, you know, the graphics are, are okay. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are going to pan this game, um, you know, for having a lot of what they, you know, uh, will might dub tank controls. So here's the thing. In my case, what it is, is it's a love of a company kind of going back to its roots. So... You know, Res Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6 took a lot of, uh, you know, critical, um, you know, panning due to it becoming more of an action-adventure game rather than being a survival horror game. And Revelations 2 kind of takes it back a little bit, um, you know, in a good way. So, you know... Uh, I personally like the controls. I, I realize that it's, you know, limiting, but in a way, that's part of the charm of the game. So, we're going to go and we're going to find, uh, we're going to find the bad guy. Um, well, first we're going to, quote unquote, try to leave. Um, and then, essentially, uh, Natalia points out where the bad guy is and you'll see uh, how they kind of get this... Um, Kind of get the game to ha and get this uh, situation to occur. There's, uh, you know, that is one thing about about Revelations Two is there are these set pieces that they really, really want you to, um, they really want you to experience a certain way, um, and sometimes that is limiting rather than uh, empowering, but. That's neither here nor there. Now, one of the things that Natalia... So, Natalia's a little girl, so she doesn't have any guns. Uh, but what she does have is a supernatural sense of being able to see monsters through walls gotcha. and uh, throw bricks. So, Careful. now, I cannot see that object... Or, you know, like, I cannot see the monster up, up in the ceiling as Barry. I can only see it as Natalia. Uh, also, it kind of gives me an impression of where... The glowy bits are, uh, which is a staple of, of games. Of course, you know, the firing into the ceiling helps a lot. But, 
you know, it does tell me where the glowy bits are. I can see, now I can see where the glowy bits are on the foot. I'm going to shoot the foot up, and then he's dead. So, you know, there's the kind of normal afflicted that have different tendencies themselves, and then the sort of monsters that, um, you know, they're in, as they introduce them, uh, you know, there are... Uh, you know, they're very powerful, but on the other hand, they have these glowy bits you can fire at and uh, take care of. And you'll you'll notice that I'm going to go out and, of course, now that they've introduced a new monster, they will, uh, um, they will, you know, uh, throw a few more at you. Now, one of the cool things about Natalia is not only can she see things, um, you know, uh, monsters through the walls and they, you know, kind of show a like yellowish fog if they are, uh, if they're there and they show a reddish fog if they're aware that you're, that you were there. Um, she also can find hidden objects, uh, you know, if there's like a bauble or something underneath a, or uh, ammo, uh, underneath a, you know, like a, a chest or, um, you know, basically they just give her something to do. So if you were playing this co-op, which you can, uh, you know, there's, in both cases, both in Claire Moira and Barry Natalia, there's this kind of, um, two parts, uh, two parts of the same body, almost. Uh, there's Claire and Barry, who are the shooters, and Moira and Natalia, who are the pointers. Um, Moira can use her flashlight to, uh, stun enemies and then use her crowbar to bash them over the head. Uh, Natalia uh, has the supernatural sense and can throw bricks. So you kind of have that as your secondary uh, person. Um, and then the other person is, well, the shooty person. Uh, kind of don't need to really describe it to you other than that. Um, throughout the world, uh, you can get, uh, you know, improvements to your weapons. Uh, so, you know, overall, uh, you know, the mechanics of the game are fairly straightforward uh i again i do understand the whole uh you know not wanting to uh you know uh staying close i want to say the word stay close to home uh on it so uh so what i've been what i kind of shot for in this um no pun intended this particular area is i use natalia to locate the monsters in the in the There's dark woods so you can see it and then, and then switch over to Barry when I to take him out. There, expose the glowy bits, shoot the glowy bits. It's all you know. Um, we do kind of find through the story, and uh, I'm not too spoilery um, that this may be a uh, you know kind of like how the virus works uh, in Resident Evil Five because he mentions uh, you know a cleanup in Africa. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, as as you start, as the story begins to unfold, uh, and again, I, I don't want to spoil too much. So, um, I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, I personally like the you know the mechanics and the combat. Uh, yeah, it, sometimes it can be very frustrating. Uh, I'm not really going to lie about that, but um, the benefits to me, uh, the enjoy the enjoying part of the game, uh, far outweighs it. Uh, you know, the parts that you may not like. But, uh, oh, there's another one. You can see it in the distance. So this time I even see it well in advance. So I'm now I'm going to get ready to start lining up the shot. Um, really like the handgun myself. Uh, there's also a skill system that you can uh, earn as you collect baubles and stuff. You can earn these skills that you can uh, use... Uh, to uh, improve, say, your crouch shoot, you know, like shooting from a crouch position um, or having your knife deal more damage or being able to use your knife while you're running, uh, stuff like that. So I think um, they do they do uh, they do quite a good job at, you know, being able to use the skills, although the skills, I will admit that um, while I find them beneficial, uh, I haven't maybe I haven't you know, used enough BP. I, I, I'm kind of a hoarder, so I, I hold on to it um, to kind of open up some of the... The amount I'm getting per level is not commensurate with some of the super high-end. Um, so it does kind of push you to 
replaying over and over again. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to do that. I kind of want to experience a story and then, you know, maybe move on to a different story. Uh, so speaking of moving on, I think it's about time to wrap things up here. Uh, be sure to uh, like this video. There's a little thumbs up below the views, the number of views. So go ahead and like it. Leave your comments below. Let us know. Are you playing Resident Evil Revelations 2? Uh, are you playing something else on your PlayStation 4? Let us know down below. Uh, and uh, while you're at it, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, both on the CoinUp TV main, main YouTube channel, as well as the CoinUp TV Alpha channel, which is where you're probably watching this right now. Because it really is the best way to find out more about, you know, coin up with through, you know, like our Skylanders and our unboxing videos on the main channel and the uh, more mature content that you're going to be seeing here on alpha. All right. That's it for me. And we'll see you next time.